Peggy 18 Hey everybody, I'm Miles Leslie from Treyarch Multiplayer and Blackout Producer. I'm David Vonderhaar, Studio Design Director at Treyarch, and today we're here to talk about the additions to the Blackout map in... Operation Grand Heist. So one of the big additions to the Blackout map, brand new destination, Ghost Town. Ghost Town is made up of two fan favorites. On top, you've got Outlaw, reimagining of Standoff from BO2. And underneath it, you have the Zombies experience buried. So this is the first time that we've taken a map from multiplayer, a map from Zombies, put them together to create one new destination. It is a Western-themed area out in the middle of the desert. Why don't we simulate what it might be like to drop in the underground section of Buried? Do you like my art? <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is why I'm the design director and not the art director. <laughs> So when you land in here, you might be facing the mansion, which is a really dynamic location from the zombies experience buried. And here, it's something a little bit different. That's right. If you make your way through the buried mansion, you're going to find mine shafts in the back that will lead you all the way back up to the surface in the outlaw section of Ghost Town. This area is super claustrophobic, really tight quarters, but you're going to be able to weave in and out of all the really unique buildings from buried. And there is loot in all of these places and lots of it. One of the kind of fascinating things for me about this destination is every other destination in the game, you can kind of eject from anywhere and head anywhere. But in this particular destination, if you're down here inside of the buried area, you can't just eject out. You've got to go to a particular exit, of which there's only four that you can get out of, and you're going to run into the other people who are trying to do the same thing that you're trying to do. Yeah, there's a layer of thinking that has to be done if you're going to commit to getting into Ghost Town, right? Uh, if that circle is coming and you got to get out, you better either have a grapple to get out of the hole if you want to be super awesome, or you better fight your way out of those tunnels. And everyone's in a hurry, which means you're setting up traps and baiting people right into your line yes, of fire. I hate mesh mines in the tunnels. <laughs> I love mesh mines in the tunnels. <laughs> so the Blackout map has more in it than just this expansive new destination that we call Ghost Town. Along the development, we've actually been improving upon this map boundary, and this gave us some new opportunities. That's right. With that, we started to look at all the support structures and saw an opportunity to add some new ones in some of these key areas on the edges, as well as improve existing ones and kind of do some extensions to others. This is an example of one of the totally new supporting structures that's really close to the dam area. So we call this the campsite, and we've put this behind the offices and behind dam, and this is really gonna put a lot of pressure on the people that like to hot drop offices or dam. You're really gonna have to watch behind you, and, and it offers another decision you need to make when you're dropping. My squad, the Bridge Ambush Committee, loves to drop dam, so I'm not sure this is a good idea to help me win. Well, that's funny, because now we are the campsite brigade, and so we're gonna meet. You're gonna lose. We'll see. There's also supporting structures that we've always had, but then we've expanded. This area of the map is pretty popular. The fans call it apartments or condos. And it used to be six buildings, but now it is eight buildings, and we put two more on the other side of it. I love this. It just adds more decision-making as you're dropping it. And it's really fun in quad games when you get two squads that drop here that every player can kind of own their house, and you get some very fun house-to-house -house battles across the street. The third type of edit to the major blackout map that you're going to have in this operation is what we call extensions. Yeah, and this is a perfect example where we've added some more buildings for you to make your way through. You can more leapfrog and kind of see the next support structure you want to make your way to. And get out of the way of the pesky ATV drivers. Super excited for everyone to jump in and really dive into Ghost Town destination, support structure updates, a lot of content coming in Grand Heist. I'll see you in Ghost Town. <laughs>